Hey guys, how is everyone? Today I want to talk about the potential Jagex takeover. News has emerged over the last couple of days that Jagex has been bought by a Chinese company whose name should be shown on screen now. Um, this is not exactly true. They're in talks to sell the company to them. However, nothing's been finalised yet. So the company's name is Shandong Honda and they're an in real life mining company. So it does seem a bit strange, but they're looking to branch out and saw Jagex, a company who have had one successful game in the last 15 years as their choice. So by one successful game in the last 15 years, I mean the current RS3 game. Um, old School does come under this category as well, because it is potentially from that one game. All of the other games seem to have failed to make an impression, such as Transformers Universe and fun of and etc. Judging by Reddit and the forums, people were scared of the potential takeover, but what could it all mean? So being a Chinese based company, it would open up the opportunity of expanding drastically. So the potential with China being the most populous country in the world, and there's other potential Asian target audiences, and of course the larger worldwide push. So with more money being injected into the company, it would allow more advertising, which would help to grow the game even more. So what's something many people are quite concerned about is that Eastern MMOs have a history of being heavily paid to win. So potentially there could be an increase in the microtransactions. However, in a thread that's come out today, they have said that there's not going to be an increase in microtransactions but as you know nothing is set in stone and I wouldn't listen to that word because potentially in the future things could change so whether or not it will bring microtransactions to old school I don't know but I'd imagine there could be a potential increase in the treasure hunter promos so with this current year at the moment, we are on our way to the 52 Treasure Hunter promos in a single year. We are a fifth of the way through the year, and we've had a Treasure Hunter promo every week so far. So it is potentially going to be the 52 Treasure Hunter year. And who knows, maybe in 2017 we'll have the 365 promos in a year. Much like that advent calendar back in December. I don't think it was all that bad. It was quite interesting having a different one every day, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Something many people were quite concerned about is whether it will bring the buying of stats and weapons, etc., into the game. Some other MMOs have been doing this, and that could potentially destroy the game if it wasn't made on a separate server, which does not affect the main game. So, whether they make like a separate game entirely, like Pretty much how like Darkscape was made and separately from the main scores and didn't make an impact on the final RS3 game. I'm hoping that the new investors will invest in pushing a brand name and not try and drain the game dry. So currently the game is in a better state than it's ever been revenue wise. This is mainly down to the Treasure Hunter and Solomons etc. Which is making a lot more money than membership ever did. So with the imminent release of the NXT client and the potential of bringing the game to the Eastern gaming community, it could be an absolute game changer and it will see the boom in popularity of the game once again. So this could restore it to the former heights of when it was in its quote unquote peak. But even back then, a lot of the members who were active say temp back 10 years ago now a lot of them were bots so we're probably at what we were in previous years so at the moment there's like normally 40,000 to 80,000 people online at a time so there's over a million active players so potentially the new owners may not even touch the game because you can invest in something that has real potential at the moment like RS which has got the NXT coming out and a lot of cool updates and separate games as well. So 
So like the Chronicle games coming out soon, the RS Idol Adventures coming out soon. There is a lot of cool stuff going on at Dragos at the moment. And it does make sense to invest in something like that. So the potential new owners may not even touch the game at all. So it's been said in the thread, which is linked in the description, that they will not have any major say on whether there's more microtransactions added and that the game will be community driven. This game is known for its community, which is very dedicated to the game. And a lot of us have been here, what, 10 years? The majority of the active players have been there a long time. But we are seeing a return of many new players and returning players. I guess time will tell what happens, but honestly, if you invest like $300 million in a game and a game studio, you're gonna invest in the game and community as well. So they're not gonna like rip the game to shreds in about a week. They want to make their money back. They will make their money back because this game is gonna boom at any time soon. And probably what I'm trying to say is no one has really anything to worry about the takeover. It's probably gonna be really great for the game. There's just a lot of there's a lot of fear mongering like floating around at the moment. If you look on Reddit, like literally that whole front page is just fear mongering. Everyone's so frightened of the takeover. It's gonna be a good thing, guys. I hope someone like feels more at ease after watching this video. But yeah, it's gonna be a good year. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.